Gotta get out of here, understand? And I'll kill anyone who gets in my way, you included. Need a smoke. Where'd you stash yours? smoke then go out and get some just need one last one jesus fucking christ man the fuck kind of joy toy are you supposed to be fucking ghost off <laughs> who you work for start talking fuck No, wait! Never, asshole. Now like that! Stick some iron in your mouth and pull the trigger! I can feel it. Our minds touching. I'm like mold on fruit, creeping into you. Nothing I can do about it. You hear me? I'd puke if I fucking could. It's just a copy of the engram. I'm out there somewhere. Gotta be. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Leave fuck, me alone. Fuck. Get out. Just get the fuck out. Led to the head, only thing that would fix this. Hear me, asshole? A bullet to the fucking brain. Fuck me.
Takemura here. We must meet. Come to Tom's diner. Hmm. Why would I do that? Because I am the one who saved your life. Haven't managed to get my head straight yet. Not after everything that happened. That will not happen anytime soon. And so what? If you intend to leave, you must re-enter the ring. The bell has already tolled. Thomas Diner, I am waiting. Those fights you mentioned. V, V, V! If you don't have a titanium skull lining, you're gonna have memory problems in no time. Fights happen in different parts of the city. He's not the first or the last. It's called life. Crystal. news. Today is a sad one in our city's history. Mayor Lucius Rhine has passed away. We learned of Mayor Rhine's death from his family. He died peacefully in his sleep. The exact cause of his death has not been released, but initial reports suggest coronary implant failure. The remainder of Mayor Rhine's term will be fulfilled by his deputy mayor and closest associate, Weldon Holt. Holt has also announced plans to run for mayor in the upcoming Looks like everyone in this fucking town's out to end you. Makes me feel like an amateur. A hack. Ugh, shut up. Gotta find out why Night City's most courteous is upgraded to hit and runs. Probably couldn't stand you anymore either. I said, shut up.
hurt me. Welcome to N54 News. I'm Jillian Jordan, and this is the latest from around the world. The Lunar Rimskaya uranium mine collapse that occurred just outside Novosibirsk in southern Siberia has concluded with a happy ending. As you recall, 35 miners became trapped deep underground following a high-magnitude earthquake. But thanks to their Suze Lake 2 hibernation implants, the miners were able to... Hey! B! Haven't seen you in a good one. Just trouble, usual stuff. Ah, ah, in need of iron and lead then, I take it? Sure, let me see what you got. for purchase at a starting rate of 100 million euro dollars. A hefty price, yes, but can you truly put a price on your security? In New Mexico and Oklahoma, a new bout of unrest has erupted in the wake of suicide blasts at NUS bases. President Myers has openly blamed the Republic of Texas for the attacks. In a swift reprisal, NUS forces carried out a series of bombings on Texan airports in Wellington and El Paso. Although both sides have expressed a desire to avoid further escalation of the conflict, so. You do not look so bad. Then, in the car, I doubted you would survive. Why'd you help me anyway? I needed you to leave. That hasn't changed. This about the biochip? That why I'm here? Hmm. 
I hear it's damaged beyond repair. Any attempt to extract it would be disastrous. Fatal for you. Vic likes to talk, I guess. Not many could do what he did. You should be thankful. What's it you actually want from me? To begin, you must tell me where to find Evelyn Parker. Evelyn? What's she to you? She and Yorinobu Arasaka had intimate relations. She knows how to get to him. Been thinking I ought to have a word with her myself. She promised to help me get rid of the chip. I would not count on that. She's likely gone very far away. There's no time to waste, B. Why you figure she skipped town? I tried to locate her, but had no success. I suspect she covered her tracks. You said Parker could help you remove the relic. Does she work for a corporation? B? You ask a lot of questions. You have many interesting things to say. Might be your turn now to say something interesting. I intend to punish Yorinobu Arasaka severely for the crime he has committed. Sorry I couldn't be of any help. Don't have any time to lose, so... Hey, wait! I need you. Yorinobu Arasaka must answer for this crime of patricide. <laughs> Looking for justice. In Night City. I seek revenge. Much more feasible here. I have allies prepared to bring Yorinobu to his knees. The only thing I need is proof. And you think they'll trust the word of a merc? I have nothing better now. Also, I know no one here. And I am a fugitive. I am hunted. What if I say no? Then I will tell you what rewards await if you help me. So what? We stroll into Arasaka HQ and announce that Yorinobu's a kin killer? That he murdered Saburo? We'll get the hearing before reasonable people in a neutral location. Certain procedures will be used to establish the truth. A lie detector? Forget it. In that case, another option. You are dying. You do not know how to save yourself. A chip, the relic, is a culprit. Technology made by Arasaka. Technology they alone know. This corporation can save you as easily as it can make you disappear. It is merely about getting the right people on your side. Politics. Exactly what kind of people are we talking about? People who hold Arasaka dear are its heart. People interested in the corporation's stable growth. Try ours today. You mean people like Anders Hellman? You know this name? How? Prep for the heist, thoroughly. Relic is Hellman's design, his creation. And true, he's a pawn. I was thinking of one much more powerful. Besides, Anders Hellman escaped to Arasaka, betrayed it. Hanako-sama, oai tekete koe desu. Kochira koso. Now, Hanako-sama, I would first like to ask you. Sucker scums everywhere. 
Hey, I was listening to that. Shut up. Nobody except you wants to watch that shit about that corpo cunt. What did you say? You heard me. Listen. No, tough guy, you listen. It's people like you two that have brought this country to its knees. Taken our land, our jobs, our fucking dignity. But I own this place and here I decide. So finish your tea and get the fuck out. Last thing we want to do is to draw attention. I'm sorry. A stupid reflex. Thanks for the offer. Need to think about it. Get back to you. I need time to plan, organize. You stand to gain much if you help me. All I ask is that you do not leave the city. Leave? Why would I leave? Need help. Best chance I'll find the right person here. Someone other than Arasaka specialist? There's no one. No alternative. Actually, we just talked about some. There's no time to waste, B. With a bit of luck, I'll track down Evelyn. If she could not help you before, she will not manage to now. Honor Among Thieves. Ever heard of it? Yes, I thought it ironic. Thieves have none. There's just honor, I believe. Your noble Arasaka would agree, I'm sure. The Parker woman will not help you. Why are you? I would think about the plan B. Anders Hellman. He invented the relic. If I want to get rid of it, he's my man. And if that means picking another fight with Arasaka, so be it. Hellman defected from the company. I myself spent many days looking for him. He... What's the expression? Dropped off the face of the earth. Somebody's been busy the last few days. I will not sit and do nothing when there is information to be found. Things to prepare. Your job, basically. It was my job. Why are you looking for Hellman? He was the one to alert Sabro-san to Yorinobu's schemes. He knew both of them well and could be an important witness. Corporal rats will squeal when hanging by their tails. For several days, I collected the information. All leads point to one place, the club called The Afterlife. I was quickly dismissed by the queen of fixers there, Rogue. Mean to say you worked for Saburo, yet got no idea how to talk to the high and mighty. She wished to have nothing to do with the man accused of murdering Saburo Arasaka. Rogue's well informed. Gets wind of most things that happen in the city. Might be worth asking her about Hellman. I wish you luck. The old man is choosy, expensive, and rude.
I cannot stay here any longer. Do what you want. Look for Parker, Hellman, whoever. I must see some friends, call in some favors. When my people in Arasaka are ready to listen, I will call you. Till then, I guess. If by some miracle you find Hellman, please notify me. He and I have unfinished business. Zapper dumples and filth. In some ways, Night City never changes. Arasaka's still a despotic machine and the world's on a collision course with chaos. But hey, at least Rogue's still alive. You know, you got some nerve. First you had to kill me, now you want to be my pal. Make like nothing happened. You know you don't gotta speak out loud to talk to me. What do you want? And I've processed some shit, changed my mind. Don't want you dead anymore. Go fuck yourself, dick wipe. Hey, wasn't easy for me either. You woke up in a landfill, I woke up in your head. Wrestling with your thoughts, memories. Think we're even. And I've taken a step back, looked at things. Think we might be able to help each other. We could start with Rogue. Her and I go back to the Stone Age. Why should I trust so, you? you ready? Remind me again. Trust me, don't trust me. I don't give a fuck. It's the least of our worries, anyway. You're the ghost of Christmas past, asshole. Any friends you had are either dead, or so old their memory's gone. Johnny Silverhand died a legend. Nobody forgets that. So you fucking know Rogue. What do I say to her? Got a talking brain tumor claims it's her old friend Johnny? Trust me, Rogue's heard dumber shit than that. Way back when you weren't even an itch in your daddy's ball sack. Don't need convincing. Seen your memories. Gross. Rogue will dance to any tune I play, or just get us to the afterlife. There is no us. Game over for me, too. Things went ass up, huh? Not as planned. You heard about the heist, I take it. Must have, uh, talked to Evelyn. Didn't need to. Old damn city's hurt. Listen, need to find Evelyn. I really don't want to talk about her. You know where she is? What'd I just say? Drop it. I won't tell you again. Judy, you're my one hope. The only lead I got. I gotta find her. And I know you can help me do that. Who told you I want to? Can we meet? Let's meet, please. You at Lizzie's? Hey, look! Hmm. Interesting. Would you look at that? You see it too. Completely whacked, or I'm having a mystical moment. What's that chick's name? The one with the hair? Misty? Yeah, more likely a neuron misfire for Victor to check out. Or maybe I ask them both. Good 
to hear you. Finally. Been a long time since we talk. Since when Jackie passed away. How are you doing? How you think? My son is dead. But I am hanging in there. Call in to offer my condolences. Hmm? Offer your condolences? Ay, Jesucristo, V. You lived under our roof. Have the decency not to treat me like some stranger you just met. I was going to call you. I prepared an ofrenda for Jaquito. We can't let him go without a proper goodbye. The ceremony will be at the Coyote Cojo. Many of his friends will be there. Say no more, Mama Wells. I'll be there. I did not doubt it for a second. Ahí te veo, Vi. What's this? Hey, haven't I seen you here before? Got a good memory for faces. We're closed right now. I'm uh, looking for Evelyn Parker. Know where I might find her? Used to come around. Haven't seen her in a while, though. Need to talk to Punch and Judy. She in her den? Yep. Take the stairs down. I'll let Judy know you're coming. Just don't let me catch you messing around, okay? Whoa, whoa, start again. What is it you want us to do now? Beat some sense into him. That don't work. I don't know, use lead. I, I don't care, I just want my room back. Your pimp blew you out, that is? <laughs> Jude is embarrassing herself again. Hey, where are you going? Nothing to sit back here. Let it lie. Judy's friend. Stop telling every joy toy you meet to come here. The hell I'm supposed to do with them all? Oh, you're so concerned about strays? Go take care of your guest. Suze, we're not done here. Oh yeah, we fucking are. You just don't give up, do you? Got nothing more to say to each other. Moxes and nomads don't seem so different. Both seem to yammer a lot about community, solidarity, classic dilemma. What comes first, family or the outside this is world? A club. Nobody cares about your lofty world views. What's up with you? What was that all about? Everyone in this city lives in their own goddamn bubble. And either you fly high, or sink into quicksand. Susie seems to know what she wants. Is she your boss? You come all this way just to play who's who at the Mox? Listen, have you seen Evelyn? Need to talk to her. It's important. Why? So you can make her your scapegoat for your train wreck of a heist. Need to find out who she was working for. That's it? That's it. Judy, you don't need to worry. I won't lay a hand on it. Wouldn't make sense. Fine. All right. Evelyn's a doll. Used to work at Clouds. Sig case on my table's got the address. Take it, and once you find Evelyn, give it to her. Megat's hour. Luxurious. Wait. Fine, have it your way. A 
doll. Why am I not surprised? You're an engram in a fading mind. Nothing should surprise you anymore. So we're gonna hit this place, Clouds? Why the hell not? Closed. Don't you have somewhere to be? You know what happened to Evelyn Parker? Why are you asking me? You talked to Judy about her already. Sure, but you're the boss. You might know something more. Evelyn jumped the Mox ship a long time ago. And anyone not a Mox is not my damn problem. Where do you give the working girls a helping hand? That's ancient history. And like all history, it was pretty damn bloody. What was it? Something about a riot. Joy girl murdered by a tiger claw? Not the first. Just the one that tipped the scales. Folk went ballistic. Streets overflowed with raised fists. Girls, pimps, outcasts, the whole freak show. It's how the mocks got started. But that's old news. We're running a business now, not a charity. Can't help everyone in this city. Gotta take care of our own. Moxes come first. <laughs> Heated exchange there with Judy. What was that all about? How's this any of your business? Gonna follow up with your own sermon on responsibility for others? Go on, your high horse is waiting. I'm just curious. One thing I know about curiosity, won't get you shit unless you got the fists and the ass to back it up. I'm guessing the club brings in a lot of biz. Pisses its share of cost, too. Why, looking to invest? Nah, I'm just admiring your operation. We took over this place way back when. Every day I wake up and wonder how it's still standing. We get by. That's all I'll say. Forget Evelyn. Admit it. This is about Judy's virtues, isn't it? Good shit, if I say so myself. Pacifica jobs, call me. Name's V. And what? No, pleased to meet you? Hm. I'm truly honored to meet you. You got any biz? Call me.
Kaku Akata, the Lady of Westbrook Estate. When you find a moment, come see me. We must settle our accounts for Sandra Dorset. You did quite well, you and that friend of yours. Until then. got that ear to the ground. Siempre. Anyway, you need something. You know where to find me. We got to get rid of it. Really? It's pretty massive. V. Nice to see you. Okay, sit. Sit! You want a beer? Wouldn't mind one. Salud. A lot of time has passed. How you been? Hanging in there somehow. Somehow. You could have come over for dinner. Nuestra casa es tu casa. Hmm. But okay. We put it behind us. I am in the middle of preparing an ofrenda. There is still so much to take care of. Could help you with that. Gracias, mi cielo. But I will manage. It's enough you come to say goodbye. Want to take part in the ceremony, but... Want to do it the right way. In line with tradition. Mm hmm But something I'd lay by his casket... That to do justice to his memory, I, I don't got anything. Mm. But your heart is in the right place, mi niño. Don't worry. He's symbolic. Look for something in his garage. His past is all there. Thanks, Mama Wells. Ah, don't mention it, V. You have respect. I admire that. The garage is on Republic. Ahí te veo. Ivy. What are you doing here? Sitting and waiting. And yeah, waiting for him. Though I know he's never coming back. Lately, I've just been coming here to sit. An hour. Sometimes two. I know it's gonk, it's just... I miss him. A lot. Wanna sit? Catch up? Hardly gonk at all. Just, well... Human. I guess. You know each other long? Half our lives. Grew up in the same streets. Saw each other a lot, but 
Just never got together. Till a year back. Yeah. Best darn year of my life. Jack talked about you a lot. Always saying how much you meant to him. Did he really say that? I bet he used different words. <laughs> Maybe. But that's what he meant. I really believe that. You actually got to know him. The real Jackie. Everybody else thought he was a goofball with a rough-hewn face and an edge. But they're wrong. What did you see in him? Let me tell you what he told me once. Told me he'd take a bullet for me. In an instant. Even if it'd kill him. Spoken like a true Haywood boy. A man. With dreams. Ambitions. Only thing they cost him was his life. There's a huge chunk of his past in there. Mama Wells is having a send-off for Jackie. I need to find something he really cared about. You mind giving me a hand? I'm not sure I should go in there, V. Still too soon? No, it's not that. Mama Wells and I aren't exactly on the best terms. She wouldn't want me to... ...in any of his things. Disturbing the memory. That Jackie would want you here. That's more important. Come on. It's a fine piece of metal in mechanics. He was so psyched. Love to poke around engines. He was 15 when he first got on a bike. Knowing him? It's a miracle he never wiped out. Oh, Jackie. That a mandala? Mm hmm. Oh, it's a long story. Hey. You all right? I'm so much better than all right. I once told Jackie he should sweep all the dark energy out of this place. A sand mandala do the trick, for example. He told me that out of sand he'd built... The castle, a home, the Wells family hideout, stronghold, something. I guess you made a bigger impression than you thought. I guess I did. Isn't it just a little, uh, janky? It's hideous, but it's also the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. Leather belt. Sort of a memento. His dad's. He used to beat both Jackie and his mom with it. Until one day, Jackie fought back. Kicked his butt. Told him he'd kill him next time. Old man was hospitalized, and then he left. Why'd he hold on to it? In case his dad ever comes back. True memento, this. Well, you got something for your ofrenda. But we could look around a little more. Nice still. It's gotta be Jackie's dad. Old school ganger. Valentino's, of course. 
course. Did you meet him? No, I only ever heard about him. But he didn't exactly inspire many fond memories. Guess no man cave's complete without some of those, huh? He said they're collectibles. They don't print them anymore. That's definitely why they're up there. Yeah. Gotta be hanging here since 2020. Jackie loved to pump iron, didn't he? He called it his form of meditation. He used to say, barbells are the best listeners. They understand all your problems and never give you gonk advice. Better get going. Actually, V, I think I'll stay a while. Say bye to him here. Mama Wells wouldn't want me there anyway. You gotta come, Misty. You got a right to be there. I'd rather not get in Mama Wells' way. It's for family. You were family to him. I guess you're right. Thanks, V. So? Shall we go? You ever thought you might leave Night City? Sure. Once upon a time, I even tried. Seriously? You mean in... Packed my bags and hopped on a plane to Nepal. Thought I'd stay there. After a week, I realized I couldn't live without the traffic outside my window and my neighbors hollering. We're about to start. Sit down, please. I thank you all for coming today. I'm not going to tell you what kind of man my son was, or lament about how much I miss him. Instead, I'll tell you a story. When he was about 19 years old, Jackie was in the Valentinos. They were at war with Maelstrom back then. I get a call from the hospital. They tell me he got shot three times, just by the heart. He was conscious when I get there. So many tubes coming out of him. He looked like a like a pulpo, like an octopus or something. He tell me, he said, No te preocupes, mama. Look, I'm bulletproof. Nothing bad will ever happen to me. And when I go, he take off his Valentino's ring. He swear he won't need it anymore. But he was not scared. He just didn't want me to worry. Descansa en paz, mi hijo. Among the membership of the Night City Devils Boxing Club, we had this saying, make your best friends among the fighters who knock you out cold. And it's true, Jackie's arm was a cannon. No one's ever hit me as hard. <laughs> I can still almost feel it. Well, 
12 rounds, buddy. Me mandó Camporta. Lamenta no estar aquí. Todavía le quedan cuatro años que cumplir. Me pidió que leyera esto. Recuerdo cuando Jackie se nos unió. Era un niño fuerte. Cuando decía que iba a hacer algo, cumplía. Tenía olor, ol, 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 honor. Podría haber llegado lejos. Mis condolencias a la familia. Que descanse en paz. Anyone else? I, uh, I often think back to the first time me and Jack met. I'd been hired to drive him and some contraband across the border. He bought some goods clipped from Arasaka. Top secret. Priceless. <laughs> A lizard. And, uh, I remember what he said then. That I came from a place where everyone's family. So he must be too. Jackie Wells. Always hungry for more. And never gave up. Not once. Once he set his mind to something. He was ready to die to achieve it. He once told me, Broder, the one thing we can't do is be afraid of others. He kept Haywood in his heart, always. It made him who he was. Most importantly, Jackie loved life and had no fear. Hard on his sleeve, he didn't overthink things. He just went for it. Thought he was bulletproof, and, and that he'd become legend at the afterlife. And ultimately, he did what he set out to do shit in the shoes of some powerful people. And if he's watching, I bet just about now, he's flipping them all the bird. He feared no one and wasn't afraid. He lived life to the fullest. Rest easy, Chum. I would like to say a toast. Or mi hijo. Thank you for your kind words, B. I'm glad you're here. It was a beautiful ofrenda we gave him. A lot of people come today. Even that putica Jackie was messing around with. Her name is Misty. What? Misty. And she was very important to him. Do you understand? Go. Invite her along for dinner. It's the least she deserves. You know what? You're a good man. Jackie would want you to have these. Thank you. I'll take such good care of it. Cuídate, B. Campos all torn up. Says he feels like he lost one of his own. I wonder if he'll be as torn up Already do. You die. Oh, chingado. <laughs> Me too, cabrón. Okay? Not today. Me too. Here's to Jackie. Got off to greener pastures. Jackie Wells. Proud son of Haywood. Well, uh, I should mingle, Vic. 
Sure. See you later, V. Poured you another? For Jaquito? Poor. For Jackie. Amen, brother. I'll have another. Have as many as you want. Weird being here without Jackie. Can't shake the feeling I'm gonna turn around and see him sitting at the bar. In his favorite spot, where he always used to sit. Hey, you! Have a drink with us, hmm? To Wells? All right, why not? To Wells! May he rest in peace. Good for now, thanks. See? You gotta know when to stop. Nah, right, give me a break. All right, let's go. You uh, here to say goodbye to one of your own, Padre? I'm here to say goodbye to a good man. So, Padre, you think Jackie's looking down upon us? From up there? I believe he has met God, stood before him. That's it. I don't know if God left the meeting happy, but I'm pretty certain Jackie did. I'm gonna move on. Go with God. Lupe's been handling the loss pretty good. She's a strong woman.